today's video is not on any astrology topic it's not on any spiritual topic it's not on any high level topic it's on something which just recently happened in bangladesh or other uh, in parts of bangladesh as you will be very well aware that uh, many uh, hindus uh, many krishna devotees and devotees of goddess durga they were uh, brutally mercilessly slaughtered in parts of bangladesh uh, during the durga puja festival and uh, temples were uh, demolished the deities of radha krishna were broken including goddess durga uh, and uh, yeah two krishna devotees were also killed in that and uh, this has been going on in parts of bangladesh from long 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 time since the last 30 40 years but there uh, there has not been any uh, strict action from the government so of course many of you had asked me uh, my opinion on why these things happened and of course why did uh, god not protect these people right who were killed well uh, there are many facets to this so for example first of all you have to understand that our conception of god's protection is very limited what we think how or, or other how we think god protects is oh god uh, ensures our financial security or god ensures that our body is good our married life is good or we have good money we have a good car we have a good bank balance we have good children we have everything nice 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 in life right so when everything is nice then we feel as if god is protecting us when everything is not so nice then we feel that maybe god is not protecting us right so therefore uh, even if you go to uh, kurukshetra the battlefield of mahabharata then you will see that um, abhimanyu was uh, brutally uh, slaughtered by seven maharathis right uh, lord krishna did not protect him apparently there actually see what happened is uh, lord krishna did not protect uh, abhimanyu's body okay but later on if you read the conversation between uh, maharishi vyas and yudhishthir maharaj then you will know that abhimanyu attained a very uh, good destination later on so but on the contrary if you read shrimad bhagavatam you will see there are instances um and even within mahabharat when lord krishna or vishnu or ram had actually protected so there are contrary examples you will see when pralad maharaj was in danger then lord narsing dev lord vishnu appeared as narsing dev and he ripped off hiranyakashipu's stomach right and in case of dhruva maharaj also lord uh, lord vishnu blessed him that he will uh, enjoy all materialistic pleasures your body will not degrade you will stay here in dhruva loka and uh, you will come back to me at the end of this life uh, and even in the case of dropadi we see that uh, lord krishna had protected her uh, honor chastity and dignity in the form of the sari right um, but then krishna did not protect uh, the five sons of dropadi right they were slaughtered brutally by ashwatthama um, so it's very difficult for us to judge uh, when uh, what krishna does and why he does it so in essence it is important for us to understand that <clears throat> whenever sometimes god does not protect the body or somebody's finances then it doesn't mean that god does not protect that person so what does god protect ultimately god ultimately protects his or her consciousness right so as lord krishna says in the gita na sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva pape bhi moksha ishami ma sucha so uh, krishna says that abandon all varieties of uh, dharma and uh, surrender unto me right uh, i will uh, deliver you from all sinful reactions do not fear so when somebody reads this statement uh, they come under this conception that oh i will never suffer in my life no it doesn't mean that it simply means that uh the suffering that you get provided you have surrendered to lord krishna it means that uh, he will empower you to uh, become more mature about uh, spirituality through those sufferings and also he will give you realizations by which you will elevate your consciousness right that's what spiritual maturity is in essence and 
uh, when we see all this with our gross eyes, you know, oh, Krishna devotees have been killed, you know, Durga devotees have been killed, what is going on? Will If God did not protect them, will God protect me? Well, uh, then we really have to refer to the scriptures and see that sometimes Krishna protected uh, the physical body, uh, but sometimes Krishna did not, like even in case of Lord Ram, right? He did not, uh, Jatayu gave, gave up his life for uh, protecting uh, Sita Devi from Ravan, but Jata, Jatayu did not survive and Lord Ram uh, did not uh, cure his body, right? Although he's the supreme personality of God, he can do it. He could have done it, but he did not do. Instead, he said that I will send you to Vaikuntha right now, right? So, uh, what he does, why he does, is beyond our uh, uh, beyond our understanding, and that is why he's achintya. He's, uh, uh, as they say, you no, know, he's inconceivable. But we have to understand that if he has done something to uh, somebody who has dedicated his or her life for spreading uh, God consciousness, then that uh, there is definitely uh, a higher plan which Krishna must have had for these devotees. And therefore, uh, we uh, we should understand that we may not be able to understand uh, things from our perspective, from our tiny perspective, but definitely there was uh, some uh, higher plan, a higher arrangement, okay? That we see from the scriptures also, as I said, sometimes he protects the body, sometimes he doesn't, right? Um, but now, uh, coming back to that, so this, this should not uh, hamper our faith in our spiritual life, and this should not... Now, um, uh, this should not make us uh, think that, oh, maybe, you know, all this is false, you know, because see, the material body will anyways dwindle one day, right? So, of course, so that is from a spiritual perspective. So, this is how you should see this event. Now, coming uh, to the uh, politics and coming back to the material details of uh, this incident, well, uh, if I would speak from my heart, uh, which I always do, I am not very surprised that this has happened in Bangladesh. Uh, now, because this has been happening in many parts of Bangladesh uh, from many, many, many years, and even in uh, some, sometimes in many parts of India, right? Uh, these uh, The Hindus, they get slaughtered brutally. Uh, of course, it has also not only happened to Hindus, it has also happened to people of other religions also in India and also uh, in Bangladesh, like it has also happened to Christians and in Pakistan also it has happened to Hindus, In even in India it has happened to Hindus and even in, uh, in, in India and Pakistan it has happened to, you know, sometimes Christians or, you know, even in India so many things have happened with Muslims also, right? So the point of this video is it, it's not, uh, it, we should not uh, turn this into an India-Bangladesh conflict. We should not turn this into a uh, Hindu-Muslim conflict because then it divides us into two sectarian parts and it does no good for us. It, it does no good for the Hindus, neither does it do good for the Muslims or for Christians, for anybody. So uh, fundamentally what we should understand is that these things are happening and it is time for us that we educate people and we make them aware, people of all religions, that universal tolerance is very essential, okay? Because if you think that uh, your, uh, the, the problem is that we think some, some people from some religions or it could be from any religion, right? It could be one person or it could be a group of persons or it could be a large section of the people. They think that uh, their religion is like the only religion, right? Uh, their religion is the only one which takes uh, people to God. All other religions are useless. They are like bogus, okay? Which is uh, actually not true. So, because the thing is, every religion has a historic context and a, a spiritual context, right? So, for example, uh, there are so many things written in Quran, as there are so many things written in the Bible, uh, which uh, may apparently contradict with the instruction of uh, the Vedas, right? But actually, it is not contradicting. The ultimate essence is the same. What, what does Christianity say, right? The Ten Commandments that uh, love God, you know, love thy neighbor. So it's basically uh, love, basically, yes. That that's the uh, ultimate essence of all the religions. But 
whenever we see that um, people uh, from a particular religion is trying to superimpose their ideology on somebody else and also uh, trying to uh, kill somebody just because they are not following uh, their particular religion, uh, then we really need to speak up. And now, now I saw in the news that uh, the person uh, who instigated these riots, this person has come out. So he had gone and kept a Bhagavad Gita. Uh, or sorry, he had go, went and kept a Quran in the uh, Durga Puja Pandal in the feet of Durga Devi or some, so, something similar I've heard. And that instigated the riots. <clears throat> so it's very essential that we do not go by rumors because even if the rum rumors are true, then also it is very well possible that these are fragmented and these uh, these are you know like pre-planned as uh, they have now found out right so <clears throat> the good thing is uh, the government of bangladesh has uh, unanimously condemned it uh, but the bad thing is uh, i have heard from many uh, krishna devotees in bangladesh that the government just says and they don't take any action and every year this keeps repeating but now this issue has been blown out and uh, this has gone to uh, the united nations and uh, usa has also condemned it so uh, now i hope the bangladesh government really uh, understands that it is not just a one-time affair it keeps happening very seriously right so <clears throat> so therefore and what could you do as a, a follower of Sanatan Dharma or as a follower of Hinduism, right? So what we could do is we could uh, uh, post, uh, make videos or write articles or talk to people and create awareness regarding, you know, how uh, time and again, this has been happening even within India, what to speak of Bangladesh, you know, uh, even India, you know, since so many, many, many centuries, this has been happening, you know, like... Uh, Hindu temples have been uh, reduced to dust, right? Somnath temple, how many times has it been destroyed, right? Nobody knows the number. Some say it's 15, some say it's 17, some say it's 18, nobody knows. Some say it's 16, 17, right? And then we also have uh, the demolition of uh, like so many famous temples in India. I will not take name, the, like uh, Sri Keshavji temple in Mathura, right? Um, put to dust by Mahmud Ghazni, right? So anyways, uh, the, the point is that what I am most uh, pained at this incident is I, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not very much pained to see what happened there in Bangladesh. But what I get angry on, what I get disgusted upon is when I see the silence of uh, the people actually, right? especially uh, the Hindus from the upper class and those who have been educated well, you know, I just see that they're least bothered about what has happened and they're like least interested. And they, uh, in fact, I have seen so many Hindus, they, they have, uh, they have uh, like, they've insulted those people who have, you know, spoken out. You know, they said that, oh, why are you just giving post as a Hindu, right? Uh, but the thing is, uh, every community needs attention, right? So in USA, if there was this movement, you know, BLM, Black Lives Matter, then if, if a white person would say, right, that, oh, why are you giving all these posts, right? Black Lives Matter, do you mean that white lives don't matter? You know? So no, it's not like that uh, because the, the black people, they have been uh, abused, tortured and tormented for many, many, many centuries, right? So then it was the need of the hour. So similarly, uh, even for Hindus, the kind of things, atrocities that have happened, the level of genocide that has happened, it is very important for us as an Indian or as a Hindu or rather as a spiritual seeker to at least uh, bring that into the light, right? We may not go on fighting against any particular religion or who has done this, did the Muslims, uh, Islamic invaders do this? or the British did this, or the Mughals did this, or the whoever, I mean, uh, the Portuguese or whoever, I mean, the French or whoever, I mean, you could just keep going on taking names, right? Because India has been colonized by many people in the past, right? In different parts, uh, may not be like, uh, totally like the British, but yeah, there's been so many different colonies, right? So therefore, uh, 
what we should do and that that is what uh, makes me very unhappy when i see the acute silence of people they feel that oh anyways you know what's happening let it happen you know we are celebrating navratri we are celebrating durga puja no you are not celebrating you are you are just pretending that things are fine you may be celebrating you may be having a very good durga puja but imagine no uh, somewhere some part of the world you know this uh, this uh, this incident has happened and what what would go down in the lives of these people right so therefore it's very important for us as indians as spiritual seekers as hindus or muslims or christians whoever we are we, we have to understand that never go by rumors number 1 never try to superimpose your religion on somebody else right there are police there, there is the government bring them them to justice okay resolve it through dharma okay so don't break the code don't take law in your hand this is this is not the solution right so do not do this in whichever condition it is i mean for whichever religion this is this is not uh, good actually even if a hindu would do this i would really not like uh, to see anything happening like that okay so therefore of course whatever has happened in the past in bangladesh or in india or pakistan let let's forget it but the thing is now as a human being whichever religion we belong to we have to understand that uh, things have happened in the name of religion because people use their ego hindus and muslims they've been killing each other right regarding uh, topics of religion um, but this does not do any good because ultimately the test of a religion is how much loving have you become and how much close have you gone towards god right so if your religion teaches you teaches you that you need to go and kill somebody just because somebody is not uh, following your religion then maybe you really need to introspect on what kind of a religion you are following or you really need to introspect on who are the leaders who are speaking this is, is it the same thing which uh, the like is it the same thing which prophet muhammad taught or is it the same thing which jesus christ taught is it the same thing which the lord krishna taught taught us right or buddha taught or guru uh, the guru nanak ji taught us right we really need to go on, go and check whichever religion it is right it has nothing to do with one one or two particular religions okay so <clears throat> um and also when you are protesting it's very important that you do not abuse the other religion okay so do not do that because uh, there are many people from uh, from the islamic community also from the muslims who have also condemned this incident okay uh, so and uh, also don't say that everywhere in bangladesh this is happening in many parts of bangladesh also uh, uh things have gone quite well but yeah in many parts in some parts other things have been very bad so do not malign the name of bangladesh the government of bangladesh uh and do not malign any one particular religion because this ultimately will create more dissension and the people from the other side they will start hating us more and more right and we will start hating them more and more okay so uh, there's already so much hatred right so and uh, there's already so much competition in that area okay so don't try to spread more hatred and don't try to be defensive and always understand two wrongs don't make uh, each other right okay so if if a hindu does something then a muslim says okay see uh you did this so i did the same same thing if a muslim does something wrong then hindu will say okay now you did this so i will do this like this. so do not get into this dog fight right our enemy is not one particular religion the hindus and muslims uh the christians everybody they can be united under the umbrella of god and we can own we can actually practice our own religion diligently and that will make us better human beings and by that we will understand that god is as as they say na ekam sat dipra bahuda vadanti that uh, god is one but uh, the seekers know they call god by different names right so uh, therefore we need to understand that everybody is in their different journey in their different path and we need not superimpose our own teachings yes okay and do not believe on rumors get your facts right before you speak anything and whichever religion you are belonging to you understand that uh, if you are a hindu then you understand that you need really need to speak up 
just because you are fine it doesn't mean every other hindu is fine and also as a hindu you should make sure that whenever you see any such thing happening from the side of hindus or hindu groups regarding other minorities in india then also you speak up all right and also if you are muslim uh, then also you need to understand that yes these atrocities have happened in bangladesh and in pakistan especially in pakistan the hindu population has reduced to such drastic small numbers right you can't believe it you can go and check the statistics right so we should unanimously con condemn any uh, violence that has happened in the name of religion okay so therefore as a hindu make sure that you make other people aware of this but do not criticize don't do name calling don't criticize a religion or a country or a group of people don't do that the more you do that it will not solve the problem it will just spread the hate okay so therefore that is my message of peace and unity and harmony and my obeisances to all those who have been slaughtered in this mayhem and i am very sure that Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is Lord Hari, He is Lord Narayana, He must have had the best in uh, your interest, right? And of course, at our level, practically, we should try uh, and make sure that these things don't happen, right? And we should also make uh, efforts at a diplomatic level, like uh, today on 23rd, uh many many places you know in, in uh, all over the world there are protests uh peaceful protests of course so that's how you make people aware of it uh <clears throat> okay so don't uh spread hatred and uh don't don't be uh don't be indifferent also oh, anyways you know this is happening to hindus what's the big deal you know hindus also do you know then muslims is anyway they also do so so don't get into hatred and don't be indifferent okay so do your part i am doing my part to create awareness and so so should you all right thank you very much and have a good weekend namaste